Hi. If you intend to use me as a scale unit, I am about 6 feet or 1.83 meters tall. Please follow me. Mariner 9 made history on November 14, 1971, by becoming the first spacecraft to orbit another planet. Its objectives were to study the Martian atmosphere and map most of the surface. It transmitted numerous images, including some of Mars' moons, Phobos, and Deimos. It is likely that its orbit has decayed by now, and it is burned up in the atmosphere. Mars 2 was a space probe with a lander, launched by the Soviet Union in 1971. Despite being the first to launch, it reached Mars' orbit two weeks after Mariner 9. However, the lander failed and impacted the surface. Identical to Mars 2, Mars 3 was launched nine days later. Its lander became the first to have a soft landing on the planet, but it failed soon after. Two orbiters had the same primary missions, studying the surface and atmosphere and relaying communications from the landers to Earth. In 1974, Mars 5 entered the orbit, but it malfunctioned after just a few days due to a leak in its instruments. Nonetheless, it transmitted pictures and various scientific data on the Martian atmosphere, surface, and magnetic field. Viking 1 was part of a two-spacecraft mission, along with Viking 2, that NASA launched to Mars in 1975. Each had both an orbiter and a lander. Viking 1's lander became the first to land and complete its mission. Following closely behind was its twin, Viking 2, whose lander was also successful. Together, the two Vikings mapped almost the entire surface and provided valuable data from flybys of Phobos and Deimos. Phobos 2 was designed to study interplanetary space, the Sun, Mars, and its moon Phobos. Despite encountering problems with computers, the mission was successful until the final stage when two landers were to be deployed on Phobos. Loss of contact occurred due to a malfunction of the onboard computer. Mars Global Surveyor launched in 1996 and remained operational for almost 10 years. It studied the planet's shape, surface, geological processes, weather patterns and magnetic field, and sent back more than 240,000 images. It also scouted landing sites and relayed communications for other Mars missions. Named after the legendary film, 2001 Mars Odyssey has been in orbit since that year, aiming to help find answers to the question of whether life existed on the Red Planet. It studies geology, searches for water traces, and assesses radiation risks for future human exploration. Since 2004, Mars Express has been in orbit, tasked with imaging and mapping the surface, exploring subsurface structures, and studying the atmosphere, climate, and moons of Mars. Sadly, its lander, Beagle 2, wasn't successful. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter was designed to enhance our understanding of the planet. Scout for future landing sites using its high-definition, largest camera ever flown into deep space, and serve as a great communication relay. MAVEN, short for Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution, is a spacecraft designed to investigate the upper atmosphere. Its primary objective is to unravel the history of climate change on Mars, understand the mechanisms behind the loss of atmospheric gases, and uncover what happened to the liquid water. The Mars Orbiter mission, also known as Mongolian, was India's first mission to Mars, launched in 2013. It successfully achieved its goals of testing technologies for interplanetary exploration while studying the surface and atmosphere of the planet. In a joint effort between the European Space Agency and Roscosmos, the Trace Gas Orbiter mission was launched to investigate the presence of methane and other atmospheric gases that could indicate potential signs of life on Mars. Unfortunately, the Schiaparelli lander failed to safely land on the surface. The Emirates Mars mission, also called the Hope Probe, represents the United Arab Emirates' endeavor to explore Mars, specifically focusing on studying the planet's atmosphere and climate to gain insights into its weather patterns and atmospheric processes. With Tianwen-1, China achieved its first successful interplanetary mission, consisting of an orbiter, lander, and rover named Zhurong. Among its goals, Tianwen aims to study the geological structure and ionosphere, while also exploring the existence and distribution of water ice on the planet. Thank you for watching. Discover more about Mars by watching our video focusing on Mars landers, or for those wanting to delve deeper, explore the sources referenced in the description.